his fingers are playing, how he is smiling, how her beautiful his eyes, his nose, like they are very beautiful, very beautiful, attracting everyone. And yes, sir. Namami Nanda Nanda Namami Jamna is also cut. His Bindabin is also cut. Hmm? His everything. His eyes are cut, crooked. Everything is crooked in Bindabin, so he has become. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you should see, if he will come in her, he will never come out. Because he is cut, cut very hard to So. Uh, listen to the gopis, what they are telling. Don't hear the Harikatha of Krishna, past times of Krishna. And don't take the name of Krishna. Otherwise you will fall in his trap and he will go there and he will never come. <laughs> and sing this. Tribhanga Deva Mala up to, but a very beautiful thing is that he has cost of money and like Krishna, uh, Srimati Radhika is beloved to Krishna, so cost of also he has some beloved things and what is Shamanta, where is Shamanta? Srimati Radhika. So he has so much friendship as between Krishna and Srimati Radhika. See, Kostov has also friendship with Krishna. All these things. And you sing, you will be so glad to see. Seeing all these things, go on doing. He told, Oh, why you don't sing the prayer of Srimati Radhika? I am not satisfied by this. I will be satisfied by that. So you should begin. <laughs> Both appeared at once. 
that and that we are satisfied, we are satisfied. But yet this one more. What much one more? That when we are in conjugal in one form, that is Sachinandan form. You have not done any prayer for. So you should do like this. Gauranga Bodhit. Follow me and we shall go to Navadvi. Ganges is flowing. Everywhere in the uh, middle Navadvi, doing like this. And you can, one Navadvi has become nine nine times. Antadvi, Shimandvi, Kodrumdi, Matvadi, Koldi, Rudradi, Ritudi, Janudi, Matrumdi, and this nine times. But island was one and is one. But divided by Ganga. Why? She is calling. Indian notion is called. Oh, come on, Ganga, come down. But Ganga has come from Himalaya coming. And when she came in Gautam, she forgot it. And he wants that I should be always in Navadhi. So he is forgetting. Don't want to leave Navadhi. So always there. So come on there. And in the middle we will go to Mayapur Antardhi, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came from the home of and he is a little boy there and dancing and doing so much things and we will go and we will see what
Gopi Yasuda with a very simple Gopi. Not crooked. Nothing. He wants to give everything for Krishna. Always serving, always in that. He wants to take Krishna inside, yeah, in the heart. Always, always. If he grow, Krishna goes to cow herding, she becomes so worried, so so problems. How to pass the days? She cannot. She cannot. So she got benediction from Krishna, who was the giving all vimukti. I had explained vimukti. No? Brahma has not taken this. Bhava, Shankar Nauti. Sri, never. So easily we can serve Krishna. To whom Krishna? Yasoda. As Yasoda is affectionate and she is so, having so mercy, Vasanya Bhava. So Krishna, Yasoda Nandan is so merciful. Not Devi Nandan. He is something of another type. He wants opulence. But Krishna never wants. Krishna is as simple as his mother. If anyone will want Yasoda, at once, so Yasoda Nandan. The same like Yasoda. Prabhu told him, oh, very, very good, very good, hard thing to learn. But I used to tell, if anything more, Rāyata hai kāntu bhāo, prema sādhasā. He told that these are all friends, none tell. He has told before that sādhasā, sarva-sādhasā, sarva-sādhasā, but here he is telling not sadha sadha. He is tell, telling prema sadha sadha. It can be achieved by prem. What? He, he has told before that by all these things he will have prem. But now he is prem telling that the kant bhav is prema sadha sadha. Not ordinary. It is the essence of all the affection and praying. But Kantuha. What is Kantuha? There is a husband and wife. This is Swakiya Bhav. It is called Swakiya. Swakiya like servant and husband and wife. Like always serving husband. He is like Prabhu and she is like that. Everything becomes of her husband. She gives everything, he not keeps anything for her. Oh, my husband is master of all. <coughs> and he treats him not as the equal. He will do what he wants. He will sometimes consult her no necessity to consult. He can do against her wife. Ram Chandra did. He told that, yo, go out of my palace. This is my palace. And she got what not to Weeping and weeping, she went away. But can Krishna t tell Srimati? She will reply at once, I am not in your home. Where is your home? I am here in my Koni. This is my Vandavan, my, my. You can go. <laughs> At once walk. And she will tell that I will not speak with you now. I want to have any friendship with any black bees and anything black. I don't. I will color my hairs with golden collar. <laughs> Everything. I will not take a sari with and black. I may color my eyes also. 
So, okay. smell. Uh, no, no. You should not do like this. I will never do like this. What you, you don't want. It. This is Kanta Bhav. Controlled by Gopis Krishna. Love is such a thing that he controls Srimati Radhika and Krishna both. His Prem is superior. So it is Prayuja. If Prem is there, then all will be controlled. Krishna and Radhika and Gopis and all. Prem such is a thing that it makes dance to Krishna. It makes dance to Radhika. All Gopis. And himself he dances. And makes dance. Of. If you have a little bit of Prem here, then it will also make you dance. Mm -hmm. Mahaprabhu dancing, dancing here and there and making dance all. He was controlled by Prem. That, is, that Prem was Mahabhav of Srimati Radhika Prem. Hmm. If Krishna has come alone, he was like Vrindavan. Like Varka. But he came in the two modes, Radhika and Krishna. So Kant Bhav is a Prem Shadhasa. Why? Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told? You can give an example from any epics, Srimad Bhagavatam especially. Oh, you want to hear? Nayan Siyo Angu O Nitantara Te Prasada. Sarchyo Sitan Nani Nagandu Ruchan Kuto Anna Raso Sabe Asya Puja Danda Grihi Kanta Labdha Shi Sanja Utgaas Vaiti Sunda He told that So Ketan Mahaprabhu is to go on There is something Lacking in Mother Vasalya Bhav What there is also one, not so broad and so high, like Dasya Bhav, like Shakha Bhav, one is coming, thinner, thinner, So, one is there, but very thin, and not so high, but there is a Bhav. But that one, if there is a mother and father. At first they were married in very young age. They had no child. Then wife used to love affection to her husband and husband used to love fully. But when they grow, get grown to a child, then that Love affection was divided into three or two for husband and for that child, mother. Again he gave a daughter. Then it was divided into three. Again she gave a child, again it was divided. And she will have to give attention for clearing houses, to cook, to broom, to nourish the child children, so many things. Now he has no time, she has no time to speak always with her husband. Husband wants that she should be with me, joking, playing, doing some things. But, oh, I have no time. Children, child, they have to look after all these things. So, this is the case there. Jasoda has to look after his husband, Nanda Baba. He is to look after Krishna. He is to look after Baldev Prabhu, to Rohini Devi, and the, all the utensils of home. Also, so many cows are there. Sometimes he will have to take care of all them to 
take milk to make curd to make and to then makkhan will come and from milk he will have to make so many good sandesh and rasa gulla for krishna you know amrit keli very test for this krishna wants this all this basic this sometimes he forgets krishna where is krishna playing here there and she is making preparation for <coughs> for so he can forget krishna for krishna <laughs> yes he has so many duty his affection is divided into so many things so he can give his whole attention now so fully whole self she can give to krishna also there is something she can do he cannot sat krishna by se- whole, whole senses and indriya means senses and is also sense and yeah. senses are eleven no no five are senses all senses even but all our senses what is this is not in the question of body hands arms legs limbs bodily things 11 she cannot serve by 11 can but gopis here kant bhav whole self love and affection for us because they had no child that they had husband but outwardly for to show what all but yes you should you should remain ha ah, you should read then i will explain read the version for yes <coughs> the lord said your statements are certainly getting better and better one after another but surpassing all of them is another transcendental mellow and you can speak of that as most sublime so ramananda rai replied conjugal attachment for krishna is the topmost position in love of god purport yeah. in general love of god is devoid of the intimacy of ownership in the case of love and servitude there is a want of confidentiality there is a want of increased affection in the fraternal relationship but when this affection incre- increases in the paternal relationship there is nonetheless a want of complete freedom <coughs> however when one becomes a conjugal lover of krishna everything lacking in the other relationships is completely manifest love of god lacks nothing in the conjugal stage the summary of this verse <coughs> is that the paternal love of godhead is certainly higher than fraternal and the conjugal love is higher yet it was when sri chaitanya mahaprabhu requested ramananda rai to go further that he came to this point of conjugal relationship which is the highest perfectional stage of transcendental love this is sadhasha means sadhasha means here prem sadhasha this is the goal of chaitanya chaitanya this is the last goal and prominent goal of Srimad Bhagavata of Jaydev Chandidas Vidya same order <coughs> now he explains how <coughs> that you should read this slok not a slok but the meaning of that is <coughs> I will explain after when Lord Sri Krishna was dancing with the gopis in the Rasa Leela the gopis were embraced by the arms of the Lord this transcendental favor was never bestowed upon the goddess of fortune or the other consorts of the spiritual world indeed never was such a thing even imagine 
by the most beautiful girls in the heavenly planets whose bodily luster and aroma resemble the lotus flower. And what to speak of worldly women who are very beautiful according to material estimation. Purport. This verse was spoken by Uddhav <coughs> when he visited Sri Vrindavan to deliver a message from Krishna to the gopis. Uddhav remained in Vrindavan to observe the movements of the gopis there. When he saw the ecstatic love of Krishna, for Krishna in separation manifested by the gopis, he appreciated their supreme love and therefore expressed his feelings in this verse. He admitted that the fortune of the gopis could not be compared even to the fortune of the goddess of fortune, to say nothing of the beautiful girls in the heavenly planets. That's what? That's the, that was the purple. What did? Red ball. <coughs> Uttav is praying to gopis, telling to gopis this much. You are most beloved to Krishna. The heavenly Lakshmi, like Lakshmi of Amandi, are so beautiful. But they cannot have the same mood like Gopis. Krishna is not. Krishna. They cannot um, satisfy Krishna, and Krishna cannot be controlled by them. Again, uh, they, are so, they are so much beautiful, and fragrance is coming from whole body. <coughs> they become in hot season, cool, and in cool season, and so much fragrance there, more than Kevada and all others. But Krishna is not controlled. Also not by the Lakshmi of Lakshmi, but Satabhama Rukmini. Once Krishna told, to Rukmini Devi, he was the chief Mahishi, Mahishi, mm. among all, among 16,108 Raja Mahishi, prince among them. So beautiful, so lovely affair. Krishna told that, I have done wrong, I have married you, I have taken you from your father. And here I am married to. But I think that I am not able for you. You are so beautiful, I am so ugly. You are so golden color. And Rajkumar, I am black. I am not Rajkumar, Rajkumar, Prince Prince. You have all qualities. And myself. He has no room at all, no qualification. All the king's son, Rajkumar, wanted to marry you. And they were gathered between your father's village, kingdom. But I went and took you. But I know that very rare ones. I am so fucking chan, dealing him, and my all lovers, those who love me, all poor. And even a rich person wants me, then he becomes poor. <laughs> give, him, give him all wealth and everything. You see that Naraji is fucking chan. Sukhudev Goswami has no even a cloth to, to cover his, all these things. You know all, all the others, those who want to love me. I make them bigger, a street bigger. 
understand. So, I know that you, I'm not qualified for you. Also, there are so many reasons. At first, it was fighting Krishna. And at once, it came, it came out of hand. And at once, it fell by the ground. As if she is dying. Krishna took his four hands and took him in the arm and he began to tell, Oh Rukmini, I was only joking. If I knew that you are so simple and you could not understand by joking, then I would have not done this joke. I am accustomed with Braja prayer. I used to joke gopis, and they also joking more to me. If I was telling that I have no concern with you, then gopis said, oh yes, yes. <laughs> At once, immediately, not for tomorrow or for any moment. And Srimati Radhika used to do sitting here. And Krishna is not. <laughs> Krishna was doing so much efforts that we should take Sulah Nama. Compromise. compromise. <coughs> but no compromise. <laughs> <laughs> then Krishna told that you are very involved to in the in the yes. to my this obey, I am giving. And also I am giving myself. In your She was not in mood to compromise. <coughs> she went to Javat at once. No compromise at all. <laughs> One day, two days. Weeping. She is also weeping so much. Why I did so? <laughs> and Krishna is also weeping. How to do? Krishna took a base. This guy sings and this guy sings. Like a Brahman boy. And he took Vedant here and took an umbrella of, of the tree, palm tree. And he took a shindle and he took a tilak and became a Brahman boy. As to them, Sanskrit schools. And he went to Yavad and telling. Bhikshan Dehi, Bhikshan Dehi means he saw that an old lady is coming and she was the mother-in-law of Shrimati Dhyatka. She has some atta, dal and other things, fruits, vegetables. Krishna refused. I will not take it. I don't know whether you are a widow or not widow. I take only these things from marriage ladies. This having done well. He at once went to the room and told Simati Radhika, Oh, Bauma, Bauma, you know? Bauma. Bahuma. Come at once. And a very beautiful, very boy is there. And she is so shining face. And if he will not give alm to him, then she, he, he may give cause. Or all cows will be dire. <laughs> and my son, only son is Abhimanyu, and he will also die. So come on and give. She so I will not come. Never I will come. And especially to any young. But because you are telling so much lie against my character, I will not. Then he told, oh no. Yes, of course. All the little you should tell her to come and give. 
Well, let that be Shaka told that all. See? Then he took some butter and dal and all other things. And he came out having a bell like this, like Indian ladies, especially new marriage lady. I mean, took a bell. And like sitting, <coughs> she came. Christmas ring like this. She told I I don't want to take this. What this alm? I want to take your anger. Please give your anger in my face. Then Smati Radhika smiled and gave the whole atta dal on his head. <laughs> <laughs> and what at once ran to inside. Krishna told that I am satisfied. <laughs> well, everything has been successful now. <laughs> and gently came Richard. This is called Kantabhav. A wife cannot do to his husband. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has only come to this very rare devotee's time to take it. It is not for general. Only I give a sprinkle Harikatha for this. So, Satabhama Rukmini, I was telling that, that Harikatha. That Rukmini <coughs> fell down and Krishna then told, I am joking like, in Braja, joking like that, that I described. So, I thought that I am Braja and I am to go peace. But I have done wrong. You should understand that. I was only joking. You should go. You should wait. And he was telling that without you I cannot have my life. I will also die. And he told, Oh Rukmini, oh Rukmini, my beloved, you should. Then something life began to come. And after some time, he saw that Krishna has taken him in his laps. Then he began to wait and told that what you have told, it is all clear. And it is true to extent. You are Nirgun. I have so many gun of this worldly thing. You are Nishkin Chan. Only one thing, love for gopis. Not for anything. And you are all bhaks, devotees. They don't want wealth, reputation, worldly things, even heaven, even Varka and all of they want to serve. So I am not qualified. All worldly persons want me, but I want only you. I want to serve your servants. I have come here to prune your rooms, where your beloved wives are there. I have not come here like princess and your wife. I want to serve your all beloveds, wives, all. Your servant I want to serve them. Don't leave, give up me. Otherwise I will die. Question to I never, never I will die. I will, you are forever, you are my beloved. So, Rukumini Shaktabhama also want to serve her. Krishna like gopis, but they cannot do. Uddha went to Braja and he heard and saw how gopis are loving Krishna. But he had to return. Empty-handed, empty heart. 
he could not be there. He could not serve like gopis. So Krishna here, Buddha is telling that Krishna get so much importance and affection to gopis. He had never can given <coughs> to anyone more than Satyabhama Arupini, more than all kinds of gopis. He took, he gathered his hand in the necks of all the gopis when he was dancing in Rashmi. Why? He was begging them that you should not for, um, give up me. And that is why he was hanging in the yeah. Next up, all the gopis. Praying something like a boy prays her mother, like, Mother gave me a like this. So he was begging. Affection praying to gopis. So gopis are more fortunate than. Tasa mabe bhuta sauri, shme man mukham buja, pitambar dharva sagvi, saksha manna. Krishna is Nirgun, where there are no devotees. Where are Mayabadi? Not Mayabadi, but Brahma again. He becomes Nirgun, shapeless, tasteless, anything less. But when he comes to Dasya Bhav, Bhakta, he becomes like Ramchandra, like <coughs> Lakshmi Pati. More than that, Rukmini Shatabhama, he becomes like husband. And more that, he becomes like friends to Subhadrushita. And when father and mother, Jasoda and Nanda is there, then he becomes a very orphan boy. He cannot take anything from his own hand. He cannot go, he cannot go. So Jasoda takes him. And he makes like this. And when we, with gopis, then his manmat, manmat. After rush, in rush, Krishna disappeared. And after that, when he appeared, all gopis getting their bells there, and he sat on that. And at that time, he was something ashamed that I had done wrong to gopis, and smiling a little also. So many things were in Krishna appearance. And so many kinds of gopis are doing, di doing different modes to Krishna. Some taking his face in her laps, this hand in her laps. Some were kissing his hands. Some were chewing his battle neck. Taking his battle neck and chewing. And some for for defense. And they were with angry mood. <laughs> like arrow penetrating the heart of Krishna. <coughs> How you are a person? You don't want to uh, you don't know what is love and affection? Like this. And Krishna was taking all these forms. And he was pleased to this gopi who was for difference, he was anger in anger mood to Krishna. He cannot do all these things in Aram Lila or Ajutya or in Dwarka Nevar. So this mode of praying, Mahabhav, is superior to all, and this is and this is Sarva Prem Sarva, and this is the goal of all the love and Today, let's stop. And in the evening, I will explain all of this. We should not try to follow, but we should have a very little greed that find this greed will come. If this greed comes, by hearing all this, you should see that your life is successful. At least your goal is fixed. 
and then from beginning, Shatta, Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, Prem, Sneh, Mantra, it will come. Yeah, yeah. 
For you. Gurudev, this was made by Nilachala's daughters. It is Nilachala's wife and his daughters. They have made. We are going to send this card for the Radha Raman temple as thanking them for having you and all of the devotees. And we are all going to sign, we make our signature inside of card here. Inside of card. Yes. So your signature will be in the middle and all of us will sign around. <laughs> We will have to write half and half. Now the Now the people. Thank <laughs> you.